Welcome to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. If you are completely new here, my name is Jesse and today I'll show you how to make translucent materials with V-Ray. So I have just a bunch of spheres with a V-Ray light behind them and I've applied just the default V-Ray gray material so that you can see just a little bit of light shining through. There's no transparency yet. First, we can give it some reflection. Not much will change because the light again is behind them but mainly we can play with the refraction, which is basically the transparency of the material. So if I make it more refractive, you can see it becomes more and more transparent until it essentially becomes glass. So this is something that you may be familiar with already. Now, if you wanted to make frosted glass, you could reduce the refraction glossiness. So if I make the refraction glossiness zero, I'm basically controlling the sharpness of the refraction. So the refractions are getting blurry and blurrier the lower you go with the glossiness. So now I'm basically getting frosted glass. So the translucency here is set to none, which means that I'm controlling the look of this with just the refraction color, the fog color, and the depth of centimeters. So right now we can just change the refraction color I'm just to see what that looks like with default settings. So if I change the refraction color to blue, you can see I'm just gonna get basically blue frosted glass. So I'll set that to white and instead we're gonna use the fog because the fog gives us the control over the depth which can create some nicer effects. So I'll just set the fog color to blue this time. And it's a very sensitive value. You can see that as soon as you sort of just go just into a little bit of blue, it goes into complete blue, right? It's very sensitive, but let's just do something like this and you can control the depth. So the higher this value, the less opaque the fog is. So again, the lower this value, the more opaque, the higher this value, the less opaque the fog will be. So if you can see as I'm scrolling this up and down, I'm controlling the basically the thickness of the fog inside of the material and I can get some pretty beautiful results this way as the light is trying to travel through all of these spheres. So this is something you would use for tinted glass and solid materials in most cases. Now if you wanted to do like orange juice, milk, um, coke, anything that is a liquid um, that's highly reflective that you want to shine light through you can set the translucency to volumetric. So now again, I can play with the fog color and increase it much more, maybe go into sort of a deeper blue. And I can increase the depth again to maybe 100 centimeters to let more of the light um, shine through the object. And now the scatter color here is what's actually tinting it into more yellow. The scatter color is set to white. So let's set it to maybe, um, let's try some other color, maybe green. Or actually, I just do red. That seems to look pretty interesting and it's beautifully illustrating how this works. So basically, if you imagine this is as if your hand was blue and you're shining a flashlight through your hand. And as the light is shining through your hand, you're revealing the blood in your hand. I'm sure you've done this as a kid. So the scatter color is the color that is revealed as you're shining the light through the blue fog. So that's how these two work together. So again, I can keep increasing the depth and more and more of the light will be allowed to travel through the blue fog and turn it into the red scatter color. And on the other hand, if I reduce the depth to maybe just 40 centimeters, we're going to see a lot more of the blue fog and only the edges of the spheres where the light is allowed to shine through are turning red because the scatter color is red. So I hope it's clear how that's working and you're getting some pretty cool results this way. And then you also have this subsurface scattering amount and this controls how much is the light allowed to scatter through the geometry. So right now it's at full one, but if you set it to zero, you're basically only gonna get the blue fog color and no scatter color. Again, if I set it to one, you're gonna get this. And if you set it to 0.5, um, you're basically gonna get something in between. So it's just a way to have more control. So the last translucency option here is the SSS, standing for subsurface scattering. This is most often used for something like human skin. So it's actually better that we set the refraction to less than pure white, just so that it's a more of an opaque uh, material. Now the SSS color controls the overall appearance. So we can set the color to something like uh, maybe light red. And then you can play with the scatter radius to control how far the light is allowed to travel 
inside of the volume. So see what happens if I turn this into darker values. You're getting more of that skin look um, where the light is only allowed through wherever the light is strongest. And then it just sort of fades into black, just like human skin would. And if you wanna control the overall strength of the effect, you can just increase or decrease the scale in centimeters. So as I raise this up, more light is allowed through. As I go down, less light is allowed through. And the SSS amount here works the same way. So the more I lower this, the less of that red color is being scattered through. The more I raise it, the more subsurface scattering I get. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. It's really very fun and easy to get some nice translucent materials going. If you learned something, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more tutorials on the channel and I'll be uploading more. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.